Dr. Violette and I are in a unique structure here. What is this room? This is a shielded room, Bill. It's constructed essentially of steel and bolted together to assure that we don't have outside interference for the d display that we have on the bench here. Okay, and what's, what are we going to look at here? What we're looking at here is a situation where a magnetic field can cause a disturbance on the display of the monitor that you see here. Now, what would be a practical application of this? Well, essentially, we solve uh, several problems like this. For example, in accounting departments, in an office facility where they have several monitors, and these monitors are located nearby high current level AC power lines. And it's this magnetic field induced by this AC current that causes the monitor to fluctuate. Okay, to let's fluctuate. create that kind of a situation then. What we have here, Bill, is a power oscillator, and we're going to simulate a 60 hertz power frequency induced magnetic field. And you notice as I turn the current up, the current level up as seen by the ammeter, that all of a sudden what was a clear still picture now is starting to oscillate. And this could be extremely wearing on a person's eyes and if they're working with numbers all day. The answer so. is yes, and there are municipalities that are proposing to have laws to essentially correct this situation for people that work in front of monitors all day, for example. Now, this device that you've got here that is recreating this situation, what is that? Well, this is called a Helmholtz coil. It's basically two coils. We send the AC current through the windings in these coils and create a uniform, more or less uniform, magnetic field in the vicinity of the monitor. So any variation that you put in there shows up as in, a, in a pure sense, more or less? That's correct. The magnetic field created is directly proportional to the amount of current in the coils. Okay, now we get around to the fix. So I'm going to step out of your way because I know you're going to need help to do this. Okay, uh, Bill, how about grabbing the box and Vic, raise the monitor. Now, what, uh, what are we going to be doing here? What are you putting in? Well, what you see here, Bill, is a shield made up of magnetic type materials, permeable material called mu metal. Now, what that does essentially is shield the box, shield the monitor from the magnetic field that we had inside. For example, at this point, you notice that Initially, we saw the fluctuation in the pattern, perhaps not discernible on the camera, but at approximately 0.57 amperes. But with the shield, to just barely see the fluctuations, it requires oh, about three times that much current, which means we're getting approximately 10 dB of shielding effectiveness from this mule metal shield. So what would you do physically now to correct that monitor? Obviously, would you put a shield around it like that, or would you would build it inside the monitor? Well, there are several options, one of which is to create a shield such as you see here, but with some aesthetics built in. We can build like a shelf or box with a shield built in, and you don't see this metal shield. The other way would be to shield uh, the components inside the box. But you can have a lot of happy employees. Uh, That's correct. 